Namaste and welcome. This is Ashna here with Divine Soul Resonance, welcoming everyone to my channel with all my love and all my heart. Today I'm bringing forth a reading for all of you to tap into the energies for the month of June. Even though I am tapping into the energy of June, if you happen to see this video at another time and it feels right for you, it resonates for you, remember that time is fluid and that it was meant to reach you at that exact time. This is a general reading. I am going to tap into what is unfolding in the month of June. These are energies that are present around you and they will help you in your spiritual growth, in your spiritual development. We're going to look at what is taking place in your physicality, in your money, finances, love and all the goodies. Let's dive straight into the reading. So first, before I begin, what I was picking up energetically for the month of June is that June is going to bring in a lot of healing and abundance. Okay, I'm feeling some new starts for you and this new start is going to require your drive, it's going to require courage and it could be in love, it could be a new business venture, it could be a new connection that comes in, a business partnership that comes in, but I am sensing growth abundance and I am also sensing expansion okay that's what I'm picking up there will be some insights that you are going to receive perhaps some of you are absolutely going to switch and shift the way you see things the way you have viewed things I see an opening in your heart I see that you're going to be more forgiving and with this forgiveness it's going to flow automatically it's not something where you're trying like, oh, I should forgive, so I will expand. That's the energy that I'm feeling. So there's going to be like love and romance that I am feeling. For some of you, I'm drawn to that pink flower very strongly. And your spirit guides are telling me, talk about those pink roses in my garden. And that always represents the flow of unconditional love. Love for yourself, love for others. And that comes in when you accept yourself, when you are in tune with yourself and you accept yourself with all your so-called flaws and in all your beauty. So that is the first energy that I am picking up for all of you for the month of June. Let's go straight in even more. What's unfolding for the month of June for the people who are tuning in angels? Thank you. June energy is for the people angels. <clears throat> Thank you. Mm. Surprise, surprise. Let me get the energies first and then I shall reveal. June energies for the people. Let's start first with the oracle cards that I have. This month, whatever your path is, whether you're asking about your career or about your love, you're absolutely on the path that is going to bring you to your desired dreams and hopes and reaching a certain pinnacle, reaching a certain destination. Some of you may be traveling, okay? Traveling to your dream lands. Uh, some of you may be moving, okay? Some of you may be absolutely, because there are two energies of destination and traveling. So there may be some vacation plans, there may be some um, search of truth. Maybe you decide to take a spiritual quest on a physical on a physical level, right? Like, okay, I'm going to go do this. I'm picking that up for some of you. And I feel in June, you're going to be like unpacking a lot of things, meaning unpacking spiritually, unpacking physically. Maybe you are doing deep house cleansing, Okay, you know, shedding all the things that you don't need. You're actually simplifying your life. You're organizing your life. You're really coming in. And I don't want to say minimalistic, 
but I am picking up what I'm seeing, I'm getting a vision here, is that very few things in a home. Okay, that could represent a new home and it could also be that you're really letting go of uh, things that you really don't need in your home or in your space. And, and to me, this is a big representation that you're clearing and making space for something new to come in. Because it's talking about simplifying your life. So for some of you, if you're kind of struggling about you know, I, I don't know which direction to go. The angels are here reminding you to simplify your life a little bit. Okay. And your shine, your light is shining so bright that it is drawing your destiny to you. So what we seek is seeking us. You've heard this so many times, right? So what you seek is seeking you. So your destiny is moving closer and closer to you. You're getting closer and closer to your dream destination, whatever that represents. And with the sun energy, with the with the shining bright sun is self-expression so this month you're going to be called to talk you're going to be expressing your authentic self speaking to people speaking and communicating um with your family with your co-workers um the way you are communicating out into the world your light is bright so i'm sensing a beautiful loving way in which you're communicating and with the sun there's a lot of happiness and brightness right because i was drawn to the citrine twice uh, as i was getting our decks ready so citrine energy if you look at it it's all yellow and bright and abundant so you're coming from a place of abundance when you have unpacked spiritually you have unpacked emotionally you have unpacked a lot of um, wounds let's say do I say unpack the wounds you have healed wounds so you have unpacked and uncovered through the layers of your multi-dimensionality so now the vessel your cauldron is clearer it's brighter for it to be able to receive the abundances coming in. So this month is a month of abundance. Okay? This month is a month of spiritual growth. This month is a month of you having a good time. Okay, This month is a month where you will be expressing yourself. And with the ninth house over here, with the spiritual growth and uh, different philosophies, I did tell you that I was picking up that you're going to have a shift in perspective. So this month is going to mark a very important month for you. It's going to bring about a shift in a mindset. It's going to bring about a shift in which you viewed a certain situation, a certain prospect, a certain way of being, a certain way of doing for different people, different things. And um, I see that with this shift, you're going to be in a happier place. And when you are coming from a happy vibration, your vibration is light. When you're exuding that by the law of attraction, that's a very light vibration. And a light vibration, you're attracting the lightness in life. Lightness in life is your abundance, your generosity, your kindness, support, loving people, you know, uh, partnerships coming to you from business, from um, entrepreneurships, you know, things just feeling like I'm on an upswing uh, cycle. Finally, I'm on an upswing cycle is what I heard. Ninth house, for some of you, I'm also seeing that with that, it also represents our travel. But I'm also picking up with the ninth house that there are going to be some major closures in learning that you have. Thank you, angels. You're going to be an epitome of embodiment of the truth. Hmm. I see a commitment coming to you, towards you, in the month of June. Yes, I said June. Okay. And I see you being committed to a path, to a, to a certain path. So it could be a new job. It could be a new business venture or your own spiritual growth. It could be a love commitment, a commitment towards a family, commitment towards something that you really value. Okay, something that brings you a lot of fulfillment with the sun energy, things coming to light. And with the number 13, I'm thinking of the death card. And the death card is there's some big transformation about your commitment where you felt restriction with a square. I'm seeing a square and then I'm seeing a wheel of fortune inside. With the square, square represents our limitations. So where you felt limited, you're going to feel unlimited in a limited place. Does it make sense? And, and if not, mull over this statement you're going to feel unlimited in a restricted place or in a limited so if you have only four items 
on your plate. You're going to be super creative. You're going to be able to create many things with those four items. So um, that's what I'm picking up. And your sense of commitment is going to be on the rise or someone is committing to you. We'll explore more. Thank you, angels. Which let's take from here first. Mm. June. Career. Wow. Career. So we're going to look at there is definitely you're going to be reaching some sort of a big milestone, ultimate destination for some of you. This was what you were meant to always do. And I see you committing to a certain career path. So career is going to be a big focus for you in this month. Let's explore more. June energies, angels. June. I'm using this deck for the first time. This is a gift for Mother's Day from my children. I love it. It's the radiant white tarot, I think. June. First energies. Let me let me start with this before I go further. We have the Five of Swords, the Ten of Swords, and the Page of Swords. Look at that. We got the element of the mental body. I talked about a mindset. There is some news that's coming to you that's going to talk about perhaps a commitment. This can be in your career because career is a big focus, but also it doesn't mean that career is the only focus. So this is some news coming in about where you felt completely defeated with the ten of swords this feels like an ending and i told you with the card number 13 i was picking up a death energy 10 in tarot represents a closure a an excess of energy so this excess of this mental anguish you have had up till june is absolutely with you traveling lightly you're unpacking you're unpacking these um warring battles you have had with others this could be family this can be in your career this can be with your friends it's just been a struggle okay with a win and loss whenever there's a winner there's a loser so you're probably beginning to see things from a very different perspective you're bringing in light to these old conflicts conflicts with people conflicts within yourself about should i do this should i not should i do this should i not Okay. And it really brought you this excess mental energy without it having a directed focus. So see, you need that directed focus when our mental thought patterns uh, can create havoc in our life. If our mental thought energy is like, oh my gosh, I'm stressed, I'm anxious, and I don't know if this will happen. It starts to tap into the energy of fear and then it, it we, we get attached to certain lower vibrational emotional energies of uh, feeling sad feeling angry feeling all of those energies and and then we are now in a lower cycle now you're releasing that in the month of june there's a newness with the page of uh, with the page of swords coming here there's news coming in could be news about commitment could be news for love news about career and there's a new start there's some this feels like a fresh energy i love that thank you angels let's see ah what is this news okay this news is about <laughs> something you've been anxious about something where we have the nine of swords <laughs> the eight of cups and the ace of cups Okay, so this news is something you might have been up in your head about if my project's going to take off, is my career going to take off, is that love person, love partnership, am I ever going to experience that soulmate love? Okay, you're walking away from that, those kind of thought patterns that limit you and you're moving towards your ultimate wish fulfillment i wouldn't be surprised if we get a wish fulfillment card here with the ace of cups at the bottom of the deck this page of swords this new news this news i'm feeling new news okay this new news is coming to you it's going to be a new emotionally satisfying experience for you okay this can be love this can be in your career i'll explore that I'll do a, a deep dive in your career and a deep dive in your love in the extended version of Patreon, which I will link at the end of this video. Okay, let's go more. Can we know a little bit more on the June energies about this 
sun and the ninth house angels more swords element wow healing you've really gone through a dark period you might have experienced the dark night of the soul for quite some time i'm seeing such gray um black these heavy energies you've really processed a lot and finally the sun is coming i told you you're unpacking a lot you're unpacked a lot okay you you've gone through a lot so some of you may be going through a period of healing you may have gone through a period of introspection you may have gone through a period of detaching yourself from other people to be in solitary to really regain your emotional energy okay regain your power regain your strength okay making choices that are heartfelt I told you you're going to get a different perspective, right? I could have totally done the reading without pulling out cards. The center of the reading is the hanged man, a new perspective, okay? The hanged man energy is your core of the reading for the month of June. Right now that I'm tapping into is a shift in perspective. It's completely turn around, okay? Where I'm picking up all these dark, heavy, you've processed a lot through this. You processed a lot, a shift in perspective. Okay, then there's a new emotions. Let's have a look at it. Thank you, angels. The star. The lovers. And the king of pentacles wow are we are we strong or are we strong we are strong <laughs> thank you <laughs> Whew, that was some intense energies i was picking up angels so the core of the reading like i said is a shift in perspective these events of the past these conflicts with family with friends at workplaces within yourself you've tried to bring healing in okay you've tried in the past and it felt like the cycle never ended with that number 13 it is definitely a representation of the death guard everything is changing you're transforming and i feel all of this was having an impact okay for some of you i'm picking up actually for a lot of you i'm picking up you had all these conflicts not in your workplace um but it was impacting your workplace. So if you had conflict at your workplace, sure. But I'm picking up in others. It could be in friends. It could be within yourself, with family. So there was a lot of push and pull. And with this push and pull, it was impacting your career. It was impacting your career in a way or, or where you were getting money from, you know, your finances and career. Let's put it this way, finances and career. It was impacting your finances and career because it could not take off. It could not take off to how much effort you were putting in because there was a lot. You kept going back into this energy where you were pulled in to the conflict you were pulled into the old way of thinking you were pulled into what somebody said and and you were trying to figure that out you were trying to heal that you were trying to stand your ground okay this is all a learning with the mental energy so all this time i feel there was a mastery going on mastery of how to master the mind because the mind impacts the emotions the emotions and impacts our energy body and the energy body impacts the physicality which is the first is your physical body and then all the physicality around us, you know, your money, your, your good things in life. Okay. So I feel in June, there is a big shift of perspective, which is what I'd felt. And I feel with the four of cups over here, something is coming to you. We'll explore that in the extended. Something is coming to you. Something you're not expecting. You've been in that healing. You've, you've really, you've been in the healing mode and you've been wondering how I'm going to, uh, how, what's coming to me. There is a new cup, this ace of cups this feels like the cup that's coming from the hand of god from the hand of divine this is not something you're expecting you have been in the closed of energy this is a closed of energy and this is an open energy an open energy is someone who's sharing freely and openly and they're open to receive and a closed energy is 
I have to protect my heart, I have to protect my energy, I have to protect myself because the world is evil. Or I do good things and bad things happen to me, right? That's the energy I'm picking up, okay? There's news coming here. We had already seen that it was an Ace of Cups and thank you angels for this confirmation. And here comes this cup, okay? You've invested in three cups. You've invested in some, some aspects in your life emotionally, you know, in relationships and you gave a lot, okay? You experienced conflict, you experienced betrayal. You felt defeated, you're there. June is going to mark a shift for you mark my words june is going to mark a big shift for you and that is going to impact your finances and career okay i'll explore more of that in the extended version now june is bringing in beautiful energies of healing the star okay i think in the may i was saying that a star is being born and in june i see that happening and we have the lovers We have the lovers, a fated connection, a fated event. I'm going to explore that specifically in love and specifically in career. What is this coming together? Because there is definitely a coming together with the two of cups here. Someone wants to collaborate and this is your past energy coming in. If it's related with love, it's someone coming in from the past to collaborate, to connect because they see you as the one. It could be a past person or a past soulmate from another time, another dimension. And now your vibration is shifting. So now you both are in resonance and attracting that to you. And in your work, this is someone, when we are talking about a past energy, I'm feeling like your past karma, your past positive karma that you have accumulated, your credit score was pretty good with that credit score being pretty good now you're coming in the eyes of someone really important and who is this king of pentacles i'll explore that too okay there is someone who is strong in a place of authority like a ceo boss okay this is someone who has a vision someone who has the money someone who has the resources someone who has the resources and someone who has a voice okay so it's not just someone who so this is someone with influence so this is an influencer okay i'm picking up an influencer Okay, it can be an influencer who with money, with whatever, right? With the resources, definitely, to bring about a shift. This was fated. Okay, with this star, lovers, I'm feeling like this is a fated connection here for business, for work. Something is shifting very majorly. Okay, with the temperance energy behind and the chariot right behind and the ten of pentacles. So I am definitely feeling that um, in this month, there is absolutely gorgeous positive news that's coming to you that is going to bring in that's going to start the tone for stability that's going to set the tone for success and um, there is going to be great um, I'm feeling an opening and I'm going to explore that how the king of pentacles and the sun energy relates in your career what sort of commitments coming through but um, on our general note over here this news is definitely coming from someone in a place of power and authority an established person okay this is going to bring in a new emotional experience it's going to bring in some very positive news okay and um now you're at the pivotal point where god universe your higher self is guiding you towards making choices that are truly vulnerable and truly from a place of authenticity and flowing with forgiveness and and being more present and that shift is bringing about that shift in thinking that shift in um, a vision that shift in perception and i can't make that happen another person can't make that happen you can't make that happen for me the timing has to be right and i feel like the timings now in this month and um, with your light shining bright there's definitely stardom energy over here will you reach that stardom in the month of june maybe for a few people but you are a rising star which is a continuation of my may energies i want to explore a little bit more before i close the reading for you let's get some tea leaves should i do tea leaves first no let's do this first Let's explore what's taking place specifically in love and we'll go deeper in the extended. For the love, for the connection they have or a soulmate that they're drawing in. 
What message do they have, angels? What is the message for the people? Love in June. Wow, I'm saying love in June and we get the six and June is the energy of number six. And this is love. This is the lovers. Wow. Thank you, angels. Wow. And with the flow here, that's the wheel of fortune. Okay. So we'll explore that. What is this coming together? What is this harmony? What is this showing up? We got lovers twice over. So you're definitely drawing in some soulmate energy. You're going to feel really happy. You're going to feel so blessed. Someone is definitely reaching out and making an effort. We're going to see who that is and what is going on with that in love. This one I'll do in the extended. Now, thank you, angels. Let's see in career. Let's see specifically for you a message in career. And the deep dive will be on Patreon. We get two. Okay. Let us see. And we have the magician at the bottom of the deck. This is wow. Thank you, angels. What do we have here for June? Okay, the eight of cups and the nine of wands. Okay, so June, don't give up because in career, there is something new that's coming in. You're absolutely maybe shifting a career path, uh, you know, where you're working. Maybe you change your education path. Okay, maybe you're walking away from what you've already done. You may be moving into a new role. Um, so the angels are saying stay determined, stay committed with this commitment card. Because with this ninth house, there's a shift in philosophy. You may be ending up doing something different with the sun, the ninth house career. Um, and the magician at the bottom of the deck, you may be doing something different. We'll explore that in the extended version. Now I'll close out the reading with um, some uh, fun messages from tea leaves. I love this. I, I got this deck also uh, a little bit earlier and I love playing with this deck. This is a fun one. How many shall I do? Let's see where I feel. It's like so cool. Is it so big? <laughs> oh, June, June, June. One at a time though, angels. You know, one at a time. Let's see, let's see, let's see for my people. Is there something? Is there something in here? Is there something for them? Otherwise, I move to the next one. Okay, there's something. Let's see. Star! <coughs> guaranteed success. It says here guaranteed success, and we have star with the star. I am feeling like placing it with a career. That's what we're going to do. We did this already. That was cool. I like that, angels. How many am I pulling? Let's see. Yay. Guaranteed success. Star. Told you. Birth of a star. Watch my May reading. Even if you're in June, July, whenever you see it. Uh, what is this wall? Misunderstanding. So this I'm feeling like you're absolutely overcoming these misunderstandings. This feels like the energy, the, the darker energies, and you're going to be reaching your destination. So with this wall, I'm also feeling like um, you are overcoming the challenges. And actually, uh, because I record in my backyard and I see uh, the wall right in front of me and I'm seeing mountains behind it, literally, oh, this is interesting. Okay, so I also feel with this wall, I don't always either read the words or I, I, I'm drawn to the card. So I, I pick up the energy. What I'm feeling is in this month, you're going to learn to draw healthy boundaries. Wall. Okay, it doesn't mean you're closing your heart down, but it also feels like you learn to draw healthy boundaries. Okay, that's important. Thank you, angels, for that message. And for some of you, I feel like uh, with this wall energy that you're breaking some walls that you have protective walls on your heart so you can open up to the abundance and that's going to take place in the month of June. Now what do we have? Tortoise. Slowly but surely getting ahead. <laughs> 
If you felt your spiritual journey, your financial journey, your journey to success, to all your hard work, to love, finding the love, like having to kiss so many frogs before you meet the prince, like that the frog with the tortoise, the frog came to my mind. And I find that funny. <clears throat> no offense, okay? I, I, this is just something fun that channeled through. Like you've really gone through it and now you're going to reach your destination. It says surely getting ahead and your light is shining, reaching your destination. Thank you, angels. And we'll take one more from here. Whoa. What else? Teapot, teapot, huh. maybe you're going to have some tea, you're going to go out for some tea with friends <clears throat> and I said I'm doing the tea leaf, right? A deep friendship with someone of the same sex, so um, I'm sensing good times in the month of June, hanging out, conversations, maybe breaking some walls and barriers and maybe this has been long in the making but there seems to be like good times had. I like that. That's beautiful. I feel like putting it right here. Is there anything else? Mm, and I was drawn to Lily. Spiritual love. We'll explore that with the star, career and spiritual love. Wow, that's beautiful energy that I am uh, feeling and channeling here for you for the month of June. May this manifest in the best and the highest way possible for you, my friends. And if you'd like to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, get a personal reading. The details of that are in the description box of this video. And <clears throat> I'm constantly getting this. <clears throat> There'll be a lot of clearing with this where you felt restricted, like, I, 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 I don't know if I can, I should express myself. You'll be expressing, you'll be embodying the truth. You're going to be a truth seeker. You're going to be a truth speaker with kindness. And uh, you're going to have like great opening in your throat chakra. That's wonderful. Um, and what else was I going to say? Yeah, if you want to follow me in the extended, in the Patreon, in the link for Patreon is in the description box of this video. And also know, this is like getting towards the end of May, that what Patreon does is it charges on the first of the month. So just giving you a heads up. I mean, this is just something new. I started in April. So just wanted my viewers to know. So you're managing your own patronage appropriately okay so if you follow the extended now they're going to charge you again on the first of the month now, I just didn't want to wait till the end of the month to to time it I was feeling that energy now there's beautiful gorgeous energy here for all of you so may this manifest in the best way and if you want to work with me one-on-one -on -one, I'm a transformational coach and I'm an energy healer if we can talk and we can go from there if not this is where our journey ends Many blessings to you and here is to you the rising star. Namaste and thank you.